Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T bringing you another video today and it feel really good to take that little break from YouTube, man. It really does you good to sit and relax, take a break, much, much appreciated to all the advice, the words that you guys were giving me on my last video. I think some of you may have took it the wrong way. I wasn't actually quitting, but you know, I just wasn't really feeling YouTube at the time. So that's what the video was all about. But all that aside, much appreciated to everybody who commented on that video. And I know who my real folks are, man. Now, before I get started, I want to give a huge shout out to my dude, Sean B. Nice. Always support the community, man. Definitely, definitely head over to his channel. I'm pretty sure a lot of my subs already know who he is. But if you don't know, I will be sure to link his channel above, man. Dude is killing it right now on the scene with his with his videography skills, man. He's really doing his thing on the YouTube scene. So definitely go comment on his latest video. Tell him I sent you over. Now you already see the title of the video. I see a lot of people talking about the S10. And I tend to not talk about leaks. But this one I wanted to touch on a little bit. Because there's one aspect of it that I technically really don't agree with what everybody is saying about the S10. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of the general leaks now. If you see a little piece of paper, I've wrote down some notes because I can't I can't remember this stuff. So what we kind of know of what has been leaked is there are going to be three models. You're going to have your S10, which is basically your regular S10. You're going to have your S10 Lite, and that's kind of compared to the iPhone XR. And you're going to have your S10 Plus, basically your iPhone XS Max. You see, they're kind of all kind of all similar, and even the sizes. You got the light coming in at 5.8. You got the regular at 6.1, and then the Plus at 6.4 inches. So all of that kind of sounds familiar, right? I mean, it, it does, but we, we're not talking about that today. Now, I'm sure if you've been on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all across social media, you already know what it looks like, and they're gonna be rocking that all screen. And before we used to say all screen, but this time we really mean all screen display. Now, here is where I am feeling a little bit different than what everybody's out here making videos about and disagreeing with. A lot of people out there, on YouTube does not agree with the pinhole design. But me, hey, I feel like that Samsung making that step, making that leap to do something different. Everybody always ran it and raved and never cared about the notch. You disliked the notch, the Google Pixel came out and that was just the worst notch, but it is the worst notch. You guys didn't like the notch, so therefore, where can we go? You don't like bezels, you don't like notches, so what more do we have to do to make innovation out here and Samsung is actually and I feel like they're pushing the envelope because they have came up with a new design that nobody technically has really came up with. Now I prefer the pinhole design before any moving parts. I'm not a fan of phone with moving parts and mechanical motors that go up and down and the camera pops out. Look, I'm not really a fan of that. I'm a fan of the pinhole design and basically I'm gonna tell you why. Samsung is always the only one to do something different. So therefore you need to, and I, I, was, I was just about to say embrace, but we don't need to embrace anything else. But we should look at this as a step forward of doing something different. Nobody liked the notches, so therefore Samsung was like, you know what? We're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna make something that nobody has done and they have made a complete all screen display man I'll pop it up somewhere on the screen but that thing is all glass I mean there's nothing out there and then of course they're already rumoring to have that in screen fingerprint scanner now I don't know how good that's going to work because if history repeats itself Samsung's fingerprint scanners are a little bit iffy they're okay but you know take some notes from OnePlus because that fingerprint scanner is, uh, is, is hitting on that 6T. Let me glance back down at my note. Now this year, you already know all of the Samsung devices should be rocking that Snapdragon 855. And you already know that chipset is gonna be on point because I've said it plenty of times in my videos, the 845 was the turning point of Samsung devices where all of that lag that we used to experience for years and years non-existent when it comes to any of the Note 9, the S10, S10, the S9 Plus, S9, all of that perfectly lab free and on all of mine right now. My Note 9, I can pop it up. My S9 Plus, I can use it. No lag at all. So you already know the 855 is gonna be where it's gonna be. Now, when it comes to the RAM, we already see phones are starting to push that envelope when it comes to the RAM. You got some out there that's pushing 10 gigs. So I would not be surprised if between any of the models, we'll see eight to 12 gigs of RAM. I personally don't really care. I don't keep a lot of apps in the background, but if you do, then you might care about that spec. But me personally, I don't really care about the RAM that much. You just have that process, man. Everything else is definitely gonna iron itself out. But one thing we gotta touch on real quick 
are these pricing points that they have going on for these devices. Now we're talking about the light version. The light rumored to start around 700 to 800 dollars and that's just for the light version. So you can tear it up, go to the S10, the regular version was going to be 900 to 1100 and then you got the plus model that's rumored to be close to 13 to 14 hundred dollars now you already know these prices are getting just out of hand samsung i'm pretty sure is going to keep it going if they got this all this new fancy sexy all screen pinhole who knows how many cameras on the back you already know they're going to charge a pretty little penny for that device man so i guess we really got to sit back and wait to see what is actually official like i said i don't really get into leaks but i wanted to mainly discuss that i think the pinhole is a good idea because it's different we don't like notches we don't like bezels what more can you do samsung i can't really see them making anything where parts move so the next best thing is go ahead and put that little pinhole so we'll see how it all plays out man stay tuned to february 20th is their live event man it's going to be held in san francisco so definitely i'll be tuned in to that once the video drops after the whole keynote is over i'll be making a video and letting you know what the real deal is with the s10 so like always guys definitely appreciate you watching this video like comment definitely share this video out and before i get out of here gotta let you know man even though i'm rocking my man sean b nice merch your boy merch is live right now the link is below technically t merch store officially dropped on teespring so head over there definitely check out if any designs catch your eye and, and, and remember man all purchases are much much appreciated and support the channel in many different ways but technically t we out later